Hey what's up guys, it's EG Turk here and today we're going to be carrying on with our look into Kerbal Space Program. We started last episode while looking at the training scenarios, but they were quite slow. So I thought the, only, the best way to learn is to get straight into it. So let's give this a name. Turk plays KSP. Nice and easy. Flags. There's so many flags, which one do I want? Um, he looks cheerful, let's have that one. I don't think we ever going to need the flag because you use that when you plant it in the planet. I doubt we're going to get to the moon, let alone another planetoid. So, I think today's objective we're going to have is to get something in orbit of Kerbal. I've had a little bit of practice, I don't know how to do it, all I know is I can fire things really high and really badly. So let's try with that. We'll take a... This is an unmanned command module, I know that much. And give it some RCS fuel, wherever it is. RCS fuel? Well, I need a battery pack anyway. That's a bit big. This one. That's better. RCS is not there. Um, come on, this. You know where RCS is. There's RCS thrusters. We don't need them yet. Uh, reaction wheels for SAS. Why well, we an advanced one? Just because we could probably do with as much control as possible. Okay. I decided it wasn't in the easy. There it is. That one. Will be enough. Let's have some of these things because these look funny. Shove them. Like. Wait. Wait. I'm really messing around. There we go. It looks a little bit odd, but yep. Yeah. Okay, that's a lot of RCS fuel. I think now we need a actual fuel tank. That's huge. I don't want. To... That's also massive. Um, this one. Oh, that's better. That's a kind of size to me. Let's give it a smallish engine. What's that one? That's a jet engine. Don't jet engines. This one quite a lot of thrust power. We won't need too much when we're just... Actually, let's keep the weight down. Let's shove a rocker a couple of these little ones on. They're only tiny. Uh, we're going to need some power while we're up there. So, solar panels. Don't need four of them. Well, wait. Whoops. Solar panels. There's two of them on there. I think if we shove. Hmm. We might want a way of getting this back down to Kerbin after we're done, so. Um, I think. No, we'll just try and save a bit of fuel and we'll try and crash it in. If we shove a few of the parachutes on them, which should be in each There we go. The readily mounted, the huge, but we'll land upside down. That sounds like a brilliantly bad idea. I'm good at them. But, there is our really poor looking space probe. These things have all got... I read about these and they don't do anything but this makes it look cool because it's got radio antennas. It looks like a person. <laughs> Let's give it antennas. In that plane. It looks like a man. Or a woman. But yeah, we won't go into that. So now we're going to need a decoupler for it. 
because we're going to have to separate it at some point. Okay. Let's get <coughs> a few thingies that I can't remember. They stage them up. It's one of these. It's one of these sections. This one. Not that one. That one? Nope. Basically, it jumps a small radius craft. That one. And then I can shove one of these huge tanks on it. And it looks like a nice transition. If we put a main sail thruster on it, that's the most powerful. You can see that it has a max engine output of 1500 thrust units. I don't know what Kerbal operates on. Just thinking. If we have these thrusters up here to get it around, and we attach. Okay, that's a lot bigger than I expected. Never mind. Forget that. Couple of the decouplers. These were so we can take the staging apart. We'll have six tanks because I want to try something that I've been reading up on. Let's put them down at the bottom. Let's get another a bunch of these. That. Not in the bottom, but in the middle, because it will mount properly then. They are mounted very badly and squiffy. So let's try and look dead on that. That one. Oh, hey, there we go, that's better. Let's zoom out a little bit now. Let's give these some more mainsails. Get as much power on the launch stage as possible. I feel as we're going to need another bit of staging in here. Because I reckon these orange thrusters will get us into or space, but we need then fuel to put us into a good high altitude orbit. So if we give that, let's put another one of these small engines on. Get some decouplers. That's better. Well, it's, it's hidden now, we don't have to worry about it so much. If we get structural, we can probably, maybe, get a way of putting these. Mount. Mount. Maybe not. Don't even know what fuel it needs for that. Liquid fuel. Is there a micro tank? Like something really short and stumpy that we can. No, that's huge. If we have just two of them radially mounted, I think basically if we don't have enough thrust here, we've done something seriously wrong. That's going to be a really bad. I know this from my university courses, you need to smooth these off, otherwise you'll be shoving something really hard into an airflow that's not going to work. Let's get a couple of these nose cones for large thrusters, because that looks better. Okay, now on to the fuel staging that I've found. It's called asparagus staging. Personally, I hate asparagus. It's Satan's vegetable? I don't like green things. Green foods just don't work with me. Anyway, as we start off by you feed this engine's fuel into this engine's fuel. You feed this engine's fuel into this engine's fuel. Then you feed if I get this right this engine's fuel into this engine's fuel, and then you repeat it, but carry on the radial look around it, 
so we'll go skip one this engine into this engine spin it whoa that was too far super sensitive mouse to there it's also very loud I believe you probably hear it clicking as I go there to there I don't know how it's going to the end oh I've just pulled off the thrust whoops there that there to there okay just to make sure it's actually hit it okay so all six thrusters we've got we also need to find this fella where is he he's up there in the tree okay now we're going to split these up so you start off with the last two in the chain so I believe it's this one, yep. Yeah. Come on, select the decoffer. Expand that. It's the second decoffer. In stage four. Along with Come on, select it. It's the bottom one. No, not all of them. I've lost it now. So we should have those two are selected. Okay. So next we want we add a stage in here. This is really hard for some reason shouldn't be this difficult. It's probably because I'm pro noobs at this, but hey. Just because I'm doing these sort of things in real life doesn't mean I know the answer to it, right? Shh. Don't tell anyone that I don't know stuff. They won't be very surprised. Anyway. Shh. So the last two, these two should be the last two staging of the Barrow to see things. Get in stage four. I don't know that one. In stage four. Okay. So we fire the engines. Those decouple. These decouple. These decouple. Then this decouples and those and that one fire. Probably want to have it just so it's these two fire afterwards after this one just so this one can get us up into the orbit then you get the nuclear ones going then once we're up in orbit we'll decouple this we should be set up in the orbit then and we have these four little thrusters that can bring us back down to Kerbin Just thinking, maybe we could do. Well, if we add a stage there and put all those rockets in there, so it's the thrusters and before the parachutes, because we want to be in curve when we use the parachutes. I think do we strap? Probably best if we attach the fuel lines between. If I do two times symmetry, but do it for the other one. Answer is no. If we go from there to there, there to there, so that's all the fuel going from here into this, these cells. Do one, which isn't right. We don't want that because this rocket's going to use these cells, and then these are going to use those ones. Go on, think it through, Tur. Logic is not a complicated thing. Well, for you it is. Let's get some strengthening struts. Attach some to there, to there. Each one of these rockets to the center column. To there. We'll do some at the bottom as well, just so we don't have a really wobbly craft. 
Have some from here to the nose cones. And I'll just put two on these engines just so these two have some. And there's a square up. Okay, it's not mirrored it. Let's put some there to there just because the game's a derp. And for now, we'll put two from here to there just so it's stable all the way up to the top. We do need to have some of these stability enhancers for launch, otherwise we'll be wobbling all over the place on the platform and we'll just, well, crush our craft. Which I'm guessing is a bad thing. So if we get all those, and those go into the initial thruster staging. I think that's our first craft, or the first craft that we're going to launch. We'll give it an awesome name. Um, this probably bad spending time for Turk is too heavy. No, that's not very catchy. We'll put that in the description. Turk, Nick, Mark one. Yeah, that sounds good. And then this is proverb. Uh, I really cannot spell probably much too heavy. Smiley face. Because smiley faces make everything better. I'll save that because yeah. Then we'll shove it on the platform. Set up for launch. I really wonder if this will work because it seems very large and there's a lot of components to it. So we'll see. Come on, load us in. Turknik Mark 1. Is a, she is a beautiful craft, she is. She sits 94 meters tall. That says something. Okay, the game's loading. But I think for this episode we have reached time. So next time we will be launching this into space. We're going to try and get ourselves a much high, really bad, a very high altitude orbit. Don't know how high in numbers because I don't know the scale of this game. Maybe nearly to the point of an entry on Moon. You never know, we might be able to get a orbit on Moon, which would be incredible. We have a lot of fuel in all of these capsules. Like, 21,000 units. It's pretty incredible. We are using electricity, apparently. Huh. Anyway, this is EG Turk signing off. We'll catch you next time, and hopefully we'll launch a rocket. See you guys later.